What's, What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Shad, Saria, and we're back, back with another, another video. video. Who we got today, see? Today we're back with another American reaction. So excited about this video. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that subscribe, subscribe button, button, and turn on the post notification bell. Because we're on, on the road to 200K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family without further ado. Let's get into the video. Let's get it. Thanks to my YouTube channel. I go by the name of myself and I, Epic it was, and I'm here with... Yeah, Pablo Hancho. Hancho, yeah, the Hancho. <laughs> All right, Pablo, what do you think about um, African Americans or diaspora coming back home to Ghana, Africa? Uh, I think I think it's a good initiative, and I think the only word, as I said, that I can use to describe the whole thing, the whole movement, is come home, because. This is home, you understand. Whether they like it or not, their skin, their origin, everything shows this is home. They just, they are just, they just find their place in another section of the world. But this is home because slaves were taken from here down to where to work, and these slaves are our forefathers. So I'm sure I have siblings who are in the diaspora places like those maybe in the UK, in the US, Europe that I don't know about. Long lineage, you understand? So yeah, I feel they should come home. There are a lot of things they should come home to because this is a beautiful place, I tell you. They need to come home and see what we have made of the place since they haven't been here. This is home. If they go to the Mina Castle, they know they've got, they are home. So yeah, that's all I can say now. Come home, come home, come home. There is a saying that that's, um, I don't know if a lot of people are using, but a friend of mine used it. Dated December. What do you think wow. about that? Dated December. Yeah. Please explain further. Yeah, like I didn't get the dated December, but dated December means okay. enjoyment in Ghana. You see, I don't, I don't call December dated December. Maybe your friend has her own terminology. You understand? I call it the year of return. As well Every as December that, so, yeah. is a month of return. Every December, because they choose to come here during the December, because that's the holidays. You understand? So I don't call it dated December. It's, a, it's like a homecoming, mm -hmm. you understand? So a, hook, a, a homecoming has party in it. We are going to talk about who did what, mm. how this went, you understand? So nobody is just coming here. Most of them come here and you see them at night having fun. But at day, during the day, they do innovative stuff. They do You understand? Because they can't come to Ghana and only come, come and enjoy. Man. There are places they should visit, tourist sites, people they should meet, places they should go. So I won't call it 30 December. I call it a homecoming December. Or maybe yeah, uh, the year of return or the month of return because mm. I have friends who don't come to Ghana just because of the nightlife. Some of them even come to Ghana, go to the nightlife and try to invest in the nightlife. It's not just about, wow. you understand, they are working as they're having fun. Yeah, you yeah, understand? Yeah, yeah. So I don't think it's all about the dirty December thing that people have put in their head. People come in and do innovative stuff like Chance the Rapper and Vignes. Yeah, yeah, he's about to talk about, hold on, I'm going to let him say that real quick. Let me see what he say, hold on. It's about, wow. you understand, they are working as they're having fun. Yeah. You understand? So I don't think it's all about the dirty December thing that people have put in their head. People come in and do innovative stuff like Chance the Rapper and Vignes did to the Black Star Line concert. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. The Afro chalice and all that. People yeah. came here for uh, entertainment. Future. Future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, when we speak a, a lot about, you know, the return of Ghana in December, um, I think the advertisement definitely shows the party side more, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, especially yeah. when it comes to our celebrities going there and they doing the work that they do, but also performing and then getting in the crowd and getting involved. Mm -hmm. But I did like that he said that they're not just partying, they're also doing their work, too. They're doing a lot of homework. Um, mm -hmm. And they, get, they got people out there that's ready to help you understand and teach you more about your history mm -hmm. like no other. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. They're walking books. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's why Daddy December or the year of return or return in December. I don't know. Um, it seems so much fun. Mm -hmm. But for people like me who I'm, I'm the party life don't entice me. Right. You know, right, right. I, I want to be in front of the griots. I want them to be telling me the different family histories. Right, and right. for people like us who, you know, we we know about uh, our family tree and we want to connect with those people to learn about the tree before even further yes even yeah, yeah. further yeah you know so i would love to see different sides of daddy's december and it you know i don't know maybe it is just about party life you know but i would love to see more of the historical elements yeah i think to the extent of party life is like he said it's when the nighttime come mm -hmm. that's when they really okay. all start to turn okay. up but yeah. in the daytime i feel like everybody doing their homework they're experiencing they're touring around they're yeah. talking and you know things like that so yeah music everything so People got job because of Black Star Line concerts. Wow. Someone was working there. 
Mm-hmm. Artists had to perform. Like, everybody had work to do. Right. Yeah, that's true. For the show. From the okay, vendors so the to the people who swept the place. It's employment. So I don't think it's just the enjoyment. There are lots of aspects to it. Even the enjoyment is creating job for somebody. The right. enjoyment, you know, it creates job for somebody. Because if, if I come to Ghana, and I'm spending 20,000 Ghana CD at this bar, mm -hmm. and I give the waitress 500 CDs, maybe she hasn't had that tip before in her whole life. But because of me, she has that. Yeah. You understand? So automatically, I boost them to doing job well because of the service she gives to me. So I feel... Uh, that is true. They, don't, they sleep in hotels. They sleep in mm -hmm. guest houses. They sleep in Airbnbs. Like, housing. Everything. They are learning. You understand? Because, yo, me and you, if you go there the first time, we go find them difficult. Yeah. Then we go adapt. So them even making a step to come here safe, then try. Then try. And it'll be about the chilling, because as I get friends with it, they prepare money for the chilling and money for business and money for, we are going to Elmina Castle, we are going to Boti Falls, we are going, because they've heard a lot about Ghana. Donation and all that. They've heard a lot about Ghana. It's not just the enjoyment and the nightlife. Some of them, we don't know the nightlife. They come for the cultural aspects and their friends say, oh, I know this place, let's go. I know this place called this, let's go. It's a nice bar, they have drinks, because they don't know anyway. They're coming here for the first time. You understand? So I feel we, as the Ghanaians, forget them. No, be just the enjoyment. That's As right. we the enjoy with them, we make them know, say, oh, you can have this, you can have this investment. That's going to bring you back to the country every time. Because something will pull you back. Yeah, so exactly. if you don't get nothing for you, what they can do for you? That'd be true. You understand? So it will be about the children alone. In as much as they chill with you, you as a guy man, as a black man, we from here, if you make them say, no, there's more to this chilling. We can actually own a place where we can go and chill for free. That is it. Instead of going to buy from them. So yeah, it'll be so me at the same. It'll be the dirty alone. It'll be dirty, but innovative as well. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that is epic. That is amazing. Like, bro, Charlie, kudos to you, Charlie. Well, let's say kudos, kudos. <laughs> you understand? Oh, so all what you've said and all that, if you have a message for Ghanaians involving this, um, you know, diaspora, people coming and all that, what are some of the things that you think we can do to help each other? First thing, I go tell my fellow Ghanaians, we say, <laughs> You said fellow Ghanaians like you be the president. <laughs> you say my base, I'll increase my base. I won't talk like president. <laughs> okay, talk so, more. The first thing I would tell my Ghanaians be say. Can you repeat that? Okay, the first thing I'll tell my fellow Ghanaians is that let's not take advantage of the diasporans. Most of them do. Oh, if the wow. thing you want CD, she speaks the English now, 10 CD. Oh. And they mess way up. Because if she goes someplace where she goes yesterday, they want CD, she don't come to you again. No? I'll be understand. Yeah. So first of all, let's be honest with them. Because honesty comes with a lot of things. If I'm honest yeah. with you, you're going to open up to me. So if I'm not honest, it's our day. So yeah. first things first, if I'll be honest with them. I think that's it. Because if you're honest, everything comes. It follows. You understand? Because if I deceive you, what you find out? It will break your heart. Right. And you know, go talk to me again. So any good thing we have shared together or we have upcoming, we do, it's probably that. So my own is, let's just be honest. Like, let's just, because, yo, in as much as the country is hard, right, to be honest, it'll be hard, I don't go lie to you. That's what they mean, say them to the hustle to get their money. Any money that they can't spend for you, they'll work for them before they bring them home. So if you won't use your mind, they get extra from them. Like, tell them you need extra. Don't steal from them. If you buy the water from me, I go make you know, say, oh, auntie. Yeah, buy. yeah, yeah, we heard of that, though. Like, mm. the bribing or the... The, the the conversation between how much what something may cost is like yeah. they do come out with a the tourist price the tourist price <laughs> and then they up it and they up it and they up it and they try to make sure they get a good penny which most people do on most parts of the world mm -hmm. if they're trying to get something involved with money they're going they're going to talk you they're going to talk to you right yeah and i know the dollar is powerful but for the person like me who baby when i'm looking at my money and i'm spending my money i'm thinking of all of the hard work that went into that dollar yeah yeah <laughs> I don't like to be cheated about my money. And I'm not saying that about y'all. I'm just saying in general. So yeah. if I was in that position, you know, I would feel a little bit played, you know, and that would leave an impression that would last, you know, so. Yeah. yeah. But if it, don't, if it don't sound right, I ain't about to mess with you. Nah, I'm good. We laugh and keep it pushing, <laughs> but I'm probably not going to come back to you for that, uh, for yeah. whatever it is I'm trying to buy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And oftentimes, first impression does, you know, create an idea on a group of people because how one feels about a person and they never really been mm. here before, right? They come back home and they talk like that. Yeah, and they tell people that when I went to this place, you know, they did this. So, yeah. so now the person they speaking to is thinking that all people are like that. Right. And as right. people, we have to check ourselves and stop doing that. You yeah, know, accountability. Stop, yeah, mm -hmm. just stop deeming a whole group bad because of one experience or 
you know, a few bad experiences. Nah, facts. And that's on both ends. Yep, 100%. Their end and our end. Yeah. Because we're already, we have a disconnect, you know. So now it's about, you know, learning from each other, learning each other's histories, each other's culture. And sticking together. Yeah. 100%. So he's definitely speaking right with being honest. I really feel honesty will open a lot of doors for you. Mm -hmm. anymore because maybe if I don't sell or my mother will beat me but I want to tell you instead of one bottle of the price I give you like three bottles then my price in yeah, one yeah, yeah. then me that tell me oh no it'd be wrong because it be karma bro last last yeah what will happen to you if you cheat somebody you like we or we know yeah so you know as much as it says we are she maybe the person will go fail them you feel say the person will go fail them but you don't know the person so if we are honest if we are honest these direct friends are going to be coming to Ghana or Africa every time and we have issues exactly at all because ghana as you me and you know gonna be very hospitable country we love foreigners so if you're able to be honest with them ah bro love and honesty they go a long way so that's all i can say man let's just be honest mm -hmm. let's wow. let's be real then it really really makes sense oh that's it <laughs> man i would have loved to dive deep into that conversation i just like to hear people speak positive and how to help each other create mm -hmm. more positive outlooks on you know things that we go through on a regular basis right. you know simple things as exchanging funds and you know buying things from somebody who is getting a business off the ground exactly. don't try to hustle somebody because you see they're not knowledgeable to the the local economy to the local economy yeah. or how much money they can put into the price or something mm -hmm. so yeah you just got to be honest yeah yeah this was a cool video we hope you guys enjoyed it with us be sure to subscribe we'll see you soon peace, peace.